Uh, good afternoon, friends. Uh, today we are with doctors from Artemis Hospitals, Gurgaon. Uh, so we have Dr. Bora with us. And as uh, we have talked about liver transplant, so they have recently operated on a young guy, a, <laughs> a small Master child. Leon. Yeah. yeah. He's about how many? What's his age? So Leon is five years old. Uh, five years old. Male boy. Male boy. Male boy. He's from Zimbabwe. He's from Harare. Right. Yeah. So I met his mother during lunch. So uh, we just wanted to understand from your perspective as a child, and uh, he's a foreign national. So when you're operating as a foreign national, it, this, uh, is it the disease specific to Zimbabwe, or it could be any Indian child could also have? No, any 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 child can have this problem, which is known as hepatopulmonary syndrome. So this unfortunate child had this problem for last six seven months, but this is a known complication of liver cirrhosis. But presenting only as respiratory failure, and uh, that too such a severe. I mean, you know, he had oxygen requirement up to ten liters per minute, which is very very high. And in fact, even on ten liter of oxygen, his saturation was as low as sixty percent. Is it so? Yeah. So you can imagine. I mean, you know, the problem was so severe that his mother used to put one bite in his mouth, then again the mask. Oh God. Then he used to chew so and how swallow. Was, how did he fly from this that kind With of oxygen journey? cylinder? The oxygen? Yeah, they oxygen. had oxygen cylinder at their home all the time. Some doctor because, with them? No doctor, they no, were no. managing, I mean, no, managing on themselves. Right. And how many sisters, brothers, how many siblings? I think, I think he's alone. Okay, okay. he's alone. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, so this is, siblings. you also mentioned this is something genetic? In this are case, you guys, are you investigating into that? Right, but in this case, unfortunately, we could not find uh, any particular reason. All right. So, I mean, you know, uh, there are a certain category or a certain proportion of patients where both adults and children, where you do not find an underlying cause. So, those patients are labeled as having cryptogenic cirrhosis. So, the child was unfortunately into that category where we do not know what led to the liver cirrhosis and then subsequent respiratory. So, now since you've operated on him, so he's going to be in India for how long? So I think they are flying soon because okay. the child has been off oxygen for, for, for almost 15 days now. Right. And would you have to come back to India for a regular checkup? Or? Right. So normally what we have developed is a system where patients, I mean, you know, do the regular investigations as we ask them to do. And then they send us their reports on mail and uh, we write them on the mail. So telemedicine is also telemedicine might is be okay. used in the future. Right, right, right. And we are normally ask them to come for a follow-up maybe, I mean, you know, once in, once in a year. If possible, but sometimes I mean you know there are logistic issues and all that. But mostly, I mean we remain in touch with these patients. Sometimes. Just about the uh, we were discussing about child liver transplant. So how many cases would it be worldwide child liver like you know five years right, right, right. So look, I mean liver disease and transplant can happen as early as six months or okay. yeah. Even, unfortunately, is it there are new what babies also? Yes, sometimes yeah, there are chances. metabolic problems. Yeah, okay. I mean there are cases where the baby was transplanted on day forty-five right. following the birth also. But overall, I mean you know if you talk about uh, if we have hundred adult transplants, so in that proportion we will have ten to get it. And the donor was his uh, family member. His uh, maternal uncle. Okay, maternal uh, grand uncle actually. Okay, so he was the grandson. All right. So how is he progressing after the? He's fine. He's back to his family. All right. So he uh, in liver transplant does it uh, be there two parts of the liver? So one part is taken up. So basically there are eight different segments. Eight we can different remove segments. eight different segments. Okay. But we need a certain proportion of liver for patient to survive also. So here we remove the left sided liver, right sided liver. Right sided liver. Yeah. Of and the donor. Donor and left sided was left behind. And uh, what is the beauty that liver regrows to the normal size? And, yes, uh, that's what I wanted you to yes, tell. Yes. Yes. And the child so now. 70%. Now, sorry. 70% regrows in a month and almost 99% within a year. Or we are back to the normal. Okay. Thank, Thank you, sir. I think this is enough for today. Right. We'll Thank come you. down and see you sometime. Thank sure. you. Pleasure talking to you. Thank you.